everybody welcome back to my channel my name is Artesia Stamps and thank you for joining me on my mommy makeover so today I thought I would do a video on Fajas and my routine for putting on my Faja and the Faja that works for me as well as what I put on my skin when I get out the bathtub so if you want to know all those things don't go nowhere stay tuned okay let's jump into it so first of all you'll notice i don't have on my faha um i don't so i disclaimer i'm a mama I'm a wife, so I can't really show you too much because respect things. So, full disclaimer there. Um, right now, I'll just show you this. So, I have one, um, and I'll put all the links to everything that I purchased in the description. This is my waist trainer. This is my guy that I use, especially when I'm getting out the shower. Um, and I'm not ready to put my faja on yet, or if I'm washing my faja, I have something, I have a backup to put on. So this right here, it actually goes down to the pelvic area. Because how many times have we said that the fa some garments just don't push your pelvic in? Fajas do, but like waist trainers don't. This one actually goes all the way down. And then it has these guys on the side that you can get some reinforcement with. Uh oh, wait. Reinforcement with. Okay. And then if you need more reinforcement, which is, you know, that's fine too. This goes around your area here to make sure that you have that compression. I'm only 13, 14 days post op, and I ain't got time to not be compressed. So when I'm not in my garment, I am. Um, inside of this particular piece, which is totally cool. I am going to sort of show you a portion of how I get in my faja. So before I do that, I put this on. So it is lymphatic massage oil with arnica and coconut infused with um, essential oils. So this is what, sorry y'all, I use this a lot like it's greasy so a lot and then this one is actually good for um think tisha this one is actually good for inflammation as well as um pain you know arnica is is used for pain so this one helps with inflammation and joint pain and things of that nature i also put on emu oil it's stink it stink. But with the emu oil, it has some in uh, some anti-inflammatory properties in it. But this one helps with scarring. But it is the truth. So it helps with arthritis, pain and stiffness, muscle and joint pain, pain from shingles, diaper rash. I mean, it's all encompassing for real. So sorry y'all, trying to let y'all see this, but you know, it's kind of things. And then here is the emu oil. It smells. And it has a consistency of like, what's that stuff called back in the day? Oh, what's it called? Crisco. In the pan, in the, the, it's the Crisco that comes inside the can. You scoop it up and you put it lard. This is what this consistency of it smells, smells of it too. So I use those two things almost literally daily. Um, daily and I have my surgical bra but what I found out is I can actually utilize a zip up sports bra from Kohl's and it gives me the same exact um support as my surgical bra does I'm gonna step out the frame for just a moment so my surgical bra is just the same honestly and when I put it on 
gotta be careful still because I have stitches and whatnot all over the place. So I still gotta be careful. Okay, so with my surgical bra, it literally does the same. If you can see how not tight it is now. When I first got this guy, I was pretty swollen. And so I would do the first one. Now I've gotten to a point where I could do the second one to have a little bit of some, some support going on. So when I'm washing my surgical bra, I still like to put on something. So I have my um, gear tech, tech gear. Okay, what's it called? Tech gear um, from Kohl's. So you can do that. So let me go ahead and start the process. I'm gonna kind of try to move fast as I possibly can. And I may even stop the camera for a second to put on my faja, because of course you can't put underwear on with it, but y'all can't see all of that, so then there's that. But I don't want to be out of my faja too long, because I don't like to not be compressed, because I hold water. So let me just show you what I look like right now. Right now, I can, I can instantly, instantly feel that my body is like, where is your faja? I ain't lying and I can't make this up. I instantly, I get freaked out because I don't have my garment on. And you know, I'm like, uh, I get, you know, I get, you know, y'all know I get real dramatic at times. And I'm like, oh my God, my faha, I don't have it on. But my body is Santasia, baby, where's your faha? So I'm gonna put that on real quick, but I wanted to just highlight something real quick. Um, so my belly button, I can't really, show you without moving the camera and I don't want to do all of that but my belly button is healing up very nicely I don't have any fibrosis thank God but had I kept going to that massage lady I would have um so here's that and so here's my incisions here and then, I think my ear, I, AirPod just died. I don't know if y'all can still hear me, but I'll check that in a minute. And then here, and then we're here. So I feel like he did a very amazing job. I'm very much so still swollen. I carry most of my, well, most, sorry, hiccup, most of my water right here. I can feel it. I'm very swollen still, but the, I can't deny his results though. Like I'm for real, I am, I couldn't be more, I could not be more um, pleased with the, with the results. Uh, my back is super swollen, like it's, it's still swollen. So with that being said, let me go ahead, stop the camera, put on the bottom part of my faja and then go over the process of what I do with y'all. Okay, so hold tight. Wait, pause for a second. So. I know I said I was putting on my faja, but I, I wanted to show y'all this first. So I did order a faja off of Amazon, a Sunrise faja. I got an extra large. That glare is really respectful. I got a, I got an extra large and um, product number 066BF Faja Columb is a, it's a high compression shaper. And I got high compression is what I've gotten. And I got the one that actually, now their result, they say I need an extra large, which is what everybody else is saying. But, I mean, that's true. I'm 32, 33 in a waist. Oh, this is right, so this is, this, is, this, is, this is actually right. So this is what it looks like, and I don't like this. So, first of all, it has snaps, all the way down not my fave so when i'm putting on the sunrise faja it has thin stripes thin straps sorry and it's okay and the the booty part you know it gives you some not no not it doesn't give you compression because you know i don't have a bbl but the opening is irritating it's all get out because why would you want that little flap hanging right there? It is so uncomfortable. And then 
these leg parts are not long enough for me. I prefer one that comes down, like kind of where my shorts is, because they don't ride up. Even with this one, it comes like a boy short, and I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan of it. So I'm not. I don't know. I'm not a fan of this faja, but it does give you four rows, so it's like literally four fajas in one. You know, you can start off here and then you can get skinny with it. But I mean, this is my standby faja. If I need just to put on something, cause my good faja is, you know, doing its thing, then I you know I wear this guy. But I, it is not my favorite, just to be clear. But my baby, my baby is this guy. I don't know the brand. I know that it's a Colombian faja. I know that the booty part is amazing. And guess what? It zips. Look. Man, let's just look, 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 look. Nice. So, I didn't order this offline. I got this Faja from my nurse, Nurse Kita Boo. Um, I got my stage two, they're both stage two Fajas, but I like this one the best. This one I got from Nurse Kita. She's located in Chicago, Illinois. This, this is not a plug, but this is where I got this Faja from. When you see me with this Faja on, you'll see why I love it the most. Um, I don't like that one, so I'm not gonna show you that one. I don't like it. But I'm gonna show you how I put this one on, my everyday type of um, thing. So without further ado, I'm gonna stop the camera or step out of film. Now I'll stop it. Yeah. I'm back! Okay, so I have my Faja on and I pull it up, like I'm putting on shorts and I kind of lift it to give me some kind of relief. So that way I'm pulling it on my legs. When I put on my faja, I put my faja on with this part lifted up. So that way it doesn't catch on the tape part of it. So then when I got it where I want, I put it down and we call it good. With it being nighttime, I'm gonna do my emu oil but I put my lymphatic massage arnica oil on in the morning's time when I get up in the morning time. But at night, I put on my emu oil. Let me show you what this looks like. So, it looks like this. I mean, the consistency of it is literally, hold on a second. Hold up. My ring light is so bright. There we go. So here we, this right here, it looks, you know, but a lot goes an absolute long way. Like it truly does. So I can take this and I start here and I just literally rub and I go from one side, real light to the other. And I go real light and I kind of feel where that lump is right here most of that water is there i'm not a massage therapist but i try to kind of i try to go in the same motion as i've seen nurse kita do and she's always going soft from side to side and i don't have to push that hard i'm not trying to do that i'm just trying to get the oil on my skin and yes, I put the oil on my belly button because I wanted to be cute, okay? And I put the oil on my incision. And I do that and I rub and I rub myself daily. I know I want to make sure that I'm not developing any lumps or anything weird. So I want to be very, very, very familiar with my body because this is a new experience for me. And this is not the same body I had when I went to surgery. So it's different and I'm learning it. And so I try to take care of it as I as you should anyways, but I try to take care of it the best that I know how with this, with this surgery. So, and keep in mind, I still have stitches here. I can feel them, but this emu oil helps with scarring. 
as well as anti-inflammatory agents. So it helps. So I try to go up. And of course, I'm not a massage therapist, but I know that I'm supposed to go up to get to get it out, but I can't go down. So I just try to move it so it's not in that same space. Again, I'm not a massage therapist, but I try to do this and at least do it for five minutes. If I'm not if if if, if I'm not doing anything, I just try. My abs is extremely tight. I will say that I carry most of my my um, water right here and here. So I'm definitely swollen. So I try to self massage. And it's okay to get in hot water, not a bath, but don't do a heating pad. Don't do that. But get in some hot, get in a hot bath to get your body moving. Get to get your stuff moving. And when I'm done massaging myself, I mean, it's oil, it is access, but I just, I seriously, I love it. But before I actually put on my Faja, your girl learned, okay? Because when you put on that Faja in your skin, they don't tell you that you're supposed to put something between your skin and them boards. Because, honey, let me tell you something. It had me pulling all kind of weight. I thought I was going to just die. So I like to massage, but I know that I hold most of my water right here. So when I get massaged on Friday, I'm gonna have her address this area. But real talk, whenever I get a massage, that area is, it goes down so fast. Like for instance, here's a picture of when I got a massage the other day. It hurt, but I got a massage and it went down. See that? That's what I'm talking about. So it does actually go down. Um, so I put this on like this. And I go slow because I still got stitches on my boobies. And I just go down like this. Okay. So I start going down. I push this under here because I don't want to have my scar my incision, if you will. Um, touching a zipper or the, the clasps. I have noticed this, that my, my ab area is tight and I find myself stretching a bit much cause it's super tight. So now that I got the butt part on correctly and I got my shirt tucked in, now I can put in my, compre my compression um, pieces. So don't judge me. Yes, I need new pads. No, I'm not buying new ones yet, but these are dirty because I wear a black shirt. So don't be talking about me. Okay, so I take this and I use my under or my, my, my breast as a guide. I know that I want it to be just like this. And so I'll have it like that. I take my thumb but don't hurt yourself because you do have incision and you do have your stitches still. But take it just like this. Take your thumb and push down all the way around. And you're doing this just like you're putting a shirt inside of your pants. For real. You got to not be afraid to, to touch yourself because you're not going to break. But don't hurt yourself. So I have mine set like this. Okay. Okay. I take my middle one, see how I still move slow? And I put it right here. This is my problem area, see this looking at right here? And I push it down like this. But you don't want it to overlap. These should never overlap. You do not want that. If it's overlapping, you can cause creasing in your skin and other issues. Now, 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 now the moment I have this you know, set, I go ahead and pull up my sleeve or my little strap. And now we're good. So that part, you know, we're good on this. This is over here and we're good. So then I take my next one and I use it as a guide, my booby, to go right up under it and here. So I do it like I'm doing a shirt, no different. And I push it down. 
This side sometimes does hurt because I have the more stitches on this side still. And I take it from the back. And I push it in. So here, I'm in. So now that I am have it tucked in, I go ahead and pull it up. So we're covered here, covered here, covered here. Nothing's overlapping. Even when I go to close this up, there should not be any overlapping of the, the material, okay? So just keep that in mind. And so now I put my phone board in, my actual board. Um, I do mine this way because my boobies are curved and I put it in. So I put it in this way. And I press it down just a tad so that is right here. See that is right here and it sits right here. And this foam board is from Mia and it's a body shape um, tech tech. <sighs> you do get tired from time to time putting this thing on. So I take mine and I keep it on the first one. I had it on the second one yesterday. I'll, I'll put it on the second one today to kind of show you the kind of room I got. And you want to start from the bottom, of course, and then pull it on in. Now, when I get towards the top, I kind of chill out a bit because I did have a breast lift. And my torso is mad small. It is like short. So I can't, you know, because I still got to take care of my under area here. So whereas most ladies would just, my hair is so, would go all the way up. I can't. I don't go to the second one on the last three. I go on the first one, the, the second one, and I just fold it down. Only because I, I can't hurt my stitches with my breast lift. So, and, 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 I, and I'm shorter, and I ain't gonna lie, I'm cheap right now. So I don't wanna buy an expensive garment, but this is me. So I have on my Faja, and I have it on, compressed. I'm good, that is overlapping. I have on my oil. I'm thinking about getting the Tributo, Tributo um, Faja, but again, that one's like semi-custom, and I'm an extra small up top and a small on the bottom but their sizes are really weird because my waist right now is a 31 and my hips are 42. So thanking God right now because I'm proportioned and my breasts, I don't know what they are, but this is an extra large sports bra. Um, and even if I didn't get my breasts reduced, just to have them lifted from where they were um, is great. So. Here's what I have to show you today. Hopefully this was informative and helpful. Um, don't forget, like, subscribe, and share to the channel, and I will continue to post my journey. I hope this helped somebody somewhere. Because I know when I was putting on my phone board, and this, this, right, this was all wrong, it wasn't helping, but I'm glad that I could help somebody today. So, until next time, see you later.